Okay, this is on the Burnham job, number 53706, installed on 720 by Aaron. <clears throat> so this is a attic AC change out. Um, okay, so first of all, um, we changed this coil to a 48C. So make sure you don't load the 48B, load the 48C, because this is a... 21 inch wide furnace <clears throat> um, but we're just changing the AC and coil um, duct as it shows we have the furnace, existing furnace coil and uh, the coil actually comes one inch um, under here so I gave you a cut line right here <clears throat> I gave you a one inch starting collar on this side only. The back's gonna be flat. Um, and we just have the trusses in the way. We couldn't do anything else. Um, but to get the coil in, um, I gave you a 24 by eight flat piece of metal. <clears throat> so um, you can just cut this up and slide the coil in and slide your duct in and then patch the side of it. That'll probably be the easiest way to get the coil in. <clears throat> um, on this one, they put the coil in backwards. So the front of the coil is at the back of the furnace. And whether you have to do that or not depends on these trusses if they're in the way. Um, of your line set and drain. So either way you have to do it, it's up to you. Um, don't really have much room in or choice in that matter. Okay, so <clears throat> on the drain, <clears throat> um, we're gonna tie into the existing condensate pump. So just standard order on that. Um, you do need to add a, a uh, coil overflow safety switch, um, as well as a drain pan overflow safety switch. I didn't see one in this drain pan. So, um, okay. <clears throat> Um, okay, on the AC, you're going to flush the lines, and let's go outside. And I'll show you the AC. Uh, Okay, so you have three filter grills in here. They're 20 by 20. So you need to change the filters in those three grills. One there, one there, and there's one there. Um, also, we're changing the thermostat to a Honeywell T6 single stage. <coughs> okay. Go downstairs, the AC will sit on the south back yard. Okay, so let's see. The breaker panel is in this room here. So the existing breaker, it's the bottom one. It's a, right now it's a 50 amp um, home line, but we're gonna leave that as is, our max breaker for the unit is a 40 amp. We're going to reuse the existing disconnect, but we're going to add it, add our 40 amp breaker inside this disconnect. Okay, on the AC, we're going to flush the lines, use existing pad, 
and that's it.